Hello scrappers! Tonight we're going to be scrapping this. This is a Dell computer monitor. Made in China. This one only has the one the one port. It doesn't have any HDMI's on it, so it's not a newer one. Or any uh, display ports or DVI-D ports or DVI ports. Let's see how much she weighs. Weighs almost 10 pounds. Let's start by... Separating some of this metal. Metal here. I knew it. How does this come out? Looks like we got a clip here. And I bet there's a strut all the way down. You know what I bet all of this can go right in a tin bucket just the way it is. I doubt there's any aluminum in here. I'm gonna pop this open and see if we got aluminum. A little exploratory pop in here. We got aluminum. So it looks like I'll be popping this sucker open. Oh, I got a screw here. Get these screws out here. Over the workbench so I don't lose my screws. Got some tin. And that is a big hunk of aluminum in there. Oh, I see how it's got to come out. like that. Now, I wish I could get at those other two screws easily. I'm going to see if I can just clamp and break. Just like that. So we got some more tin and a nice heavy piece of cast aluminum. There's almost a pound now. Look at that, now it's almost two pounds. That was a nice little score. I'm glad I stopped and checked that. Now how is this uh, bezel held on? Looks like it's just held on by snap together. Oh, you know how we, you know how we take stuff apart here. That's aluminum. Look at that. That's aluminum. See ya. Push. Ooh, we got silver contact switches. Plucking these off carefully. I'm gonna wait until I have a lot of these and then I'm gonna list them on eBay. A little little tiny little chunk of silver in each one of these. Let's try and clean this one up a little better. There you 
go. There's got, oh, I see another board in there. There's this aluminum. 10, 10. I'm gonna leave this uh, right on the wire. No, I can't do that. We'll clean it up a little bit for the scrap yard. There we go. So you got some copper bearing board, some number two insulated. Now these little things here, these are always brass. Not always, but these are usually brass. These little circuit board standoffs. And they just unthread. We got some brass. More 10. Now what I've done a bunch of times Scrapping these. As this part here, there's another board in here. I just know it. Smaller bit. This is the good board. Scrapyard doesn't get this one. All these gold pins. These gold plated pins too? No, nope. these are gold plated pins. Strong hands and pull them out. Let me break the plastic a little bit. There we go. We'll save all these gold plated pins here. More leverage on these ones. They're not as sharp, but there's more leverage on them. Okay, so number two insulated. I just gotta cover this up. I spilled it once. Don't wanna spill it again. Now this board, Scrapyard does not get this board. There's a lot of gold in this board. This one I will be selling on board sort. I have a I have a box over in the other garage full of gold bearing board. Scrapyard does not get that one. And I've been are these brass? Those look like brass. Those are brass. This whole back piece is aluminum too. I don't know how further I want to go into this. Because there's just backlighting in here now. I think this is going to go in the tin pile. I'm going to have it face down. It's going to go right in the tin pile just the way it is.
been doing it that way. That's how I've been doing it. And my bigger bet, this one doesn't quite fit. Best scrapping tool in the world is a five and one of them six and one screwdrivers. Throw the handle in the garbage. And that's all that is. Best scrapping tool in the world. Oh, ho, ho. some more number two insulated. Are these aluminum? Don't weigh nothing. No, number 10. So it's going to stay right with this. Is that brass? No. Nope. This will go in the tin pile just the way it is. Yeah, this will go in the tin pile just the way it is. Lost my little piece of wire. It's not even the same wire. It's the same wire. Ten. Now let's get depopulating our boards. We have a crystal oscillator. We got some gold pens. Gold pins, you can just straighten them out and pull this plastic off. Usually, you can get underneath this piece of plastic. Maybe these cutters will do it. And you can usually slide the whole piece of plastic off. Not this time. We're just going to get these gold pins here. Not a ton of gold plating on them. But if you're going to reverse electroplate a lot of stuff, it's worth grabbing them. We got a little copper here and a little copper here. All these transistors on here too. That can stay right on the board. So can't these because uh quite difficult to get the copper out of those. But this this is easy getting the copper out of it. Is that a relay in there? No. This transistor got copper in it. No. Nope. Sometimes guys remember you can always break in the stuff and see what's in it. Copper plated pins as well. <laughs> Whoops. I'll break the plastic. Piece of copper bearing board. We're gonna get that off. Nip. Same thing on this side, nip it off. We're not cutting, we're just pretty much breaking the plastic.
clean this up a little bit for them. So if you got too much mixed in, they'll give you copper bearing for your whole bucket of number two copper. That would be absolutely terrible. So you don't want too much garbage mixed in. You can have a little bit of garbage mixed in though. Passer's got to go. Can't take it apart, break it apart. probably have gloves on because with the coronavirus you do not want to go to the hospital for stitches right now now would be the absolute worst time to go get stitches is there any copper in these transistors were these worth my time yes there was So we got some more number two copper and some extruded aluminum. Remember, if you guys don't, if you're not sure, you can always leave it on the board and just get copper bearing price for it. I like to try to get more bang for my buck though. I think we're going to sneak these little steel pins in. Get out as much as I can. Another transistor. That's about it. Oh, almost forgot. We gotta get this yummy stuff off. I'm gonna take a peek in here and see if these are gold plated. Probably not. Nope. We do some extruded aluminum. We do have a crystal oscillator. These you can just grab, give a little twist, and they pull right off. And these flat chips, I'm going to leave them on there. The ones I want are the ones on computer boards. Those are the really good ones. And all this stuff can stay too. And that means we're done. Put this to the rest of the crystal oscillators. We got some copper bearing board. Green on both sides board. And let's see how we did. the transistor that's all right it'll turn up they always do 
So now this board here, this will be being sold on board sort. I'm gonna wait until I got a pile of them, get more money for them than you do at the scrap yard. So we got almost eight pounds total. So let's see how much cast aluminum we have. Three quarters of a pound of cast aluminum. And one ounce, ounce and a half of extruded aluminum. So we got cast aluminum and extruded aluminum. They're heat sinks and stuff. And sometimes it's the zero button, sometimes it's the tear. There we go. This board's not registering. I doubt this copper's gonna register. Get a little bit of a uh, old dirty sheet aluminum. Green on both sides. Some number two copper. Almost lost my brass. We got some tin for the tin pile. A couple pieces of brass. And that was six and a half pounds. Number two insulated is not going to weigh anything. And some copper bearing circuit board. No way was that half a pound. That's half a pound. Half a pound of copper bearing. Some number two insulated. That one's too bad. But just remember guys, uh, this crap is everywhere. All you gotta do is find it, sort it, and hoard it. Made quite a mess today. So, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.